Hi, I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and today I'm going to be showing you how to find the most viewed questions on Quora without any type of paid tools whatsoever with this clever secret method. Let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to do to access this tool is to go into your profile and go to create ad. All right. Then you can go ahead and you know type any account name. I'm gonna type in um, I don't know test. And then you uh, you can add in your you know contact information. Okay. And then click next. Uh, business name, I don't know, you can you can add whatever business name you like, um, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just going to use the example they gave me, All right? and uh, website, I don't really have one, so I'm going to leave it blank, then the industry, uh, let's go with, um, hmm. uh, I'm just going to go with e-commerce, and billing country, uh, let's just go with uh, U.S. Uh, oh. Here we go. All right. Uh, I guess I have to add my advertising. All right. Okay. And then I click start advertising. Don't worry, this is just to you know create a profile so you can access the tool. Okay, you're not going to be paying any money. So wait for it to load. Now we've created the uh, tool. You know, as you can see, it's test, and you can create a new campaign. All right. So the first thing you want to do is in the top right hand corner of your new um, ad tool, Cora ad tool is to go ahead and create a new campaign and then you can type in the campaign name test um, it doesn't matter what you pick here you can say uh, generic and let's say a hundred dollars and then continue alright so you see the ad set name. You can you know create the ad set name. Uh, you can go ahead and search by topic. Now this is the important question. You did all of that just to get to this section right here. So please pay attention. This is how you're going to learn how what what questions are the most popular and which one gets the most view without using any kind of paid monthly tool that you know costs a hundred dollars a month or fifty dollars a month which is ridiculous when you just need a tool to find what's uh, popular on Quora so you know you can go ahead and uh, use questions and you can use your you know you can type in your keyword and then you'll find exactly what type of questions are popular so Let's say I'm going with, uh, let's say, YouTube, no, let's say affiliate marketing. Uh, marketing. There we go. You can go ahead and, you know, click on one of these. All right, and I'll show you exactly how many impressions it gets per week. All right. Let me just do that again. Let's go with uh, dog training. Yeah. All right, wait for it. And you'll, you'll see right here, as you click on it, it shows you what your impressions are per week. And you can uh, use it to eventually find what is the most popular um, question on Quora. All right, the other method that's a lot easier to do it instead of having to sort through and type each question in, but let's say you had a question already and you want to see how popular it was on Quora, you can just go ahead and use that method. If you're trying to just scan and research just to find um, what's the most 
you know popular question within that your keyword let's say affiliate marketing okay oops continue you hit continue and here you go you have all the questions and then on the right hand side the weekly views so instead of having to spend hours and hours and hours you know, trying to trial and error or um, paying a monthly fee to you know use a a uh, a ranker you know to see a keyword ranker to see exactly which you know questions are trending on Quora and pay a hundred dollars a month for that you can just use their tool and here you go it's absolutely free now this is very powerful so now you can focus your efforts on the questions that are worth it right so right here what is affiliate marketing you got 200 and 350 weekly views um, how do I earn in affiliate marketing how can I start affiliate marketing and you know this one right here can you really make significant money using affiliate marketing all right so here are the 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 top you know four questions and you know if you want to go to these ones these are okay too like what is the best way to start uh, making online money online with affiliate marketing so these are all really good questions to ask and you know you have two methods to use it one is you already have a question prepared and let's say um, let's say I already have a you know, question like what is the what is the best uh, dog tra training method right that's the that's the question I already have and I just add it in and there you go you, you, you see exactly what to expect on the right hand side before you even publish or answer a question or, or create a video <laughs> so this saves you a lot of time all right so you now, now you know that ooh, this might be a bit low uh, maybe I will pick something else all right so uh, then the other way to go ahead and check out you know what's already trending is to click on bulk ads all right and then just click uh, type in the keyword all right so in this case we'll do dog training oops And there you go. These are the you know top. In this case, these are the top questions that are getting any significant traffic. So, what are some Avado dog training tips? Uh, why do police train their dogs with German commands? Uh, why, what is the best way to train a dog? All right. So, all of these are you know, are trending questions right now, and you can go ahead and um, you know use those. All right. So, let me cancel this. So I, I hope you realize how powerful this is. Now, since you stayed all the way through the video, I have a bonus tip. And you've, I just taught you and showed you how exactly to find what's trending or what's the you know, most uh, popular questions within your you know, keyword or subject area. Right? But now you have to produce content for that keyword. And I'm going to show you a very cool... Uh, way in which you can create content quite easily for um, whatever you know whatever question you would like to answer now if you were to go ahead and write out the answer to each question that you you know to, in order to promote your link or whatever it take you quite some time as you as you can see a lot of people put a lot of effort into each answer all right, but I'm going to show you a special way in which you can save a ton of time with and still get you know better results. The tool is called Writer. Right, so um, I already have an account, but it's basically an AI writing tool, and it is amazing. I've um, tested quite a few of these. You know, I've uh, tested Closer's Copy. I've tested um, I've tested WordTune. And uh, I've tested quite a few, uh, and I can tell you, compared to all of them, uh, this tool is by far the easiest to use, and it works really, really well. And it's it's the most affordable too. And all the other ones charge such a, a really, really high monthly fee. Uh, this one is, you know, this one's free to use. 
you know, not, you don't even need a credit card or email. Once you uh, create an account, or you know, if you don't, you, know, you can go in here, right, and you click on write. You pick your language, you pick your tone, and you choose what you'd like to write. You can pick from anything from blog articles, uh, business idea pitches, emails, Facebook, Google, LinkedIn ads, interview questions, job description, landing page descriptions, uh, post and caption ideas, product description, uh, pro profile bios, SEO meta, like there's so much stuff in here. <laughs> video description, video channel description, video ideas. It, it's amazing and it, it's uh, way better than um, you know other tools in the past. Like when I used just the article spinners, it was just horrible. It was like hot garbage. But this, this AI writing tool, this is workable, right? So this is the question I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to, the topic I'm going to add. And I'm going to just hit uh, write for me, right? And I'm going to hit uh, three variants, right? That means it's going to give you three different versions, right? So I click write for me. Wait, I'm going to let it load so you can see in real time how long it actually takes. And it's done, right? What are the most viewed questions on Quora, right? So then it goes, Quora is a question and answer site that can be used to find answers to just about any question. Uh, questions are often updated with new answers, so you may want to bookmark your favorites and revisit them periodically as they grow in popularity. All right, and that's the first one. And what are... Uh, the most viewed question on the Quora. This is a difficult question to answer as it is impossible to find out how many times a given topic has been viewed. It is possible that some of the topics that have been asked and answered repeatedly may be among the most viewed. And then you got the third one here, right? Now, if you want, and it doesn't end there too, right? So it popped out three versions. And then if you want to go ahead and extend this, let's say it's too short, you just highlight it. And you, you scroll up top, you have insert a few words to increase length of selected task. Uh, reduce the length to make it clear. Rephrase it. Uh, append a few words at the end of the selected text to make it wordier. And write a full paragraph on a selected text. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click write a full paragraph. Right? Boom. And then just sit back and let the magic happen. All right, so it just added this portion right here, and let's continue reading it. Core is a user-generated question and an answer site that can be used to find answers to just about any question. The site was launched in 2009 and has been continuously growing since day one. Core breaks down content into categories so that the best possible answer uh, can be found. Core has some sort of reputation system, so the best answers are always at the top of the list. Yeah, so the, that that's all readable, right? If you were to do the same thing with an article spinner, it would have been you know unreadable garbage, right? So this is uh, this is amazing. Then you can go ahead and just plop this down as is into your blog post or article or a core. In this case, there's going to be a core answer. And you didn't have to spend a lot of time doing it. As you can see, I took a, it took me a lot more time because I had to explain it to you. But if you were to do this, it would take you maybe you know one or two minutes at most. And you can always change the tone. You have assertive. You have candid, casual, cautionary, earnest, funny. I mean, it, it's it's really literally amazing, amazing tool. So on top, they have a tutorial. They have a community, and they're always adding features. Later on, they're going to be adding a uh, plagiarism checker. They're going to be adding uh, like maybe uh, some uh, repository and and other contents and, and and stuff like that. So it it's not like you know they just pumped it out and left it as is. It's constantly evolving, constantly improving. All right, so. Uh, if this video was helpful, could you please hit that like button? This is Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and I will see you in the next video.